Greetings Assassins, Wayne here and welcome to another video. Are you still on the fence on which version of Assassin's Creed Unity to get? To be honest, I don't blame you. There are plenty of editions out there currently available for pre-order and there are even more pre-order incentives from all the major retailers. Going through it can be a bit of a pain to try and find out which one is right for you. But don't you worry because I'm here to help in any way that I can. Over the course of the video I'm going to be breaking down all the additions and pre-order incentives currently available and then ultimately come to the conclusion which edition is in fact the best value for money. Before we begin I just want to make clear that some of these additions may not be available in specific regions and the prices are based on those on the official Ubisoft store so they may also vary worldwide. So that being said without further ado let's get going. To begin with, we'll start with the special edition of Assassin's Creed Unity, which is by default the basic retail version of the game. So you just get the game and you get the pre-order bonus of the Chemical Revolution mission, which is available in every edition of the game. It's currently priced on PlayStation 4 and Xbox One at $54.99 on the Ubisoft Store, and on PC it's marked at £5 less at $49.99. Moving on, we have the first collector's edition of Assassin's Creed Unity, the Bastille edition. The Bastille edition comes with an art book, official Assassin's Creed Unity soundtrack and two lithographs, and it all comes nicely packed in a steel bookcase. It comes with two single player DLC missions, the first of which is the Chemical Revolution DLC which is available for everyone, and then you have the American Prisoner mission. On Xbox One and PlayStation 4, it's priced at $64.99, bear in mind that's only £10 more than the standard special edition, and on PC it's priced at $54.95. Taking the next step up, we have the Notre Dame edition, which at its core is the Bastille edition. You get the art book, the soundtrack, the two lithographs, and the two single player DLC missions all featured in the Bastille edition, though the major difference is of course the Arno Gargoyle statue and the collectible box it comes in. On PlayStation 4 and Xbox One it's priced at $79.99, while on the PC it's marked at $74.99. When comparing it to the Bastille edition, you're basically spending an extra £15 for a very, very cool Arno statue. And to be fair, that is actually a pretty good bargain. Next up on the editions, we have the Assassin's Creed Unity Guillotine Collector's Case, which is the biggest collector's edition of the lot, and can only be purchased exclusively from the Ubisoft store. In this edition you get the aforementioned art book, soundtrack and lithographs, but in addition it comes with a very beautiful framed canvas print, some tarot cards if that floats your boat, a music box, a beautiful secret map of Paris and the mysterious future pack, and of course the Arno guillotine statue. Right now on PlayStation 4 and Xbox One it's priced at £119.99, while on PC it's priced at £109.99. To wrap up our edition breakdown we're going to be moving over to Amazon for a few of them. First up we have the Assassin's Creed Unity Collector's Edition. This collector's edition is currently priced on Amazon at $129 or £76. At its core, the Collector's Edition is a basic stripped down and combination of the Guillotine and Notre Dame editions. With it you get the art book, the music box featured in the Guillotine Edition, however you get the statue and collector's box featured in the Notre Dame Edition. It also includes the soundtrack and the two DLC missions seen in the previous editions. To wrap up the edition breakdown, we have the Amazon special offer, the Arno Pocket Watch Edition. In the edition, you get the beautifully designed Arno Pocket Watch, along with the Chemical Revolution DLC pre-order mission, and the Parade Pistol Weapon for bonus content. The Arno Pocket Watch Edition on Xbox One and PlayStation 4 is priced at $69.99, while it's £10 cheaper on PC at $59.99. Now we've looked at all the Assassin's Creed Unity editions available, let's get on to the nitty gritty of incentive content from all the major retailers, all trying to tease you to get it from here, there, that or the other. The first of the incentive content comes in the form of four special packs. Each pack is tied around its own theme and provides unique weapons and clothing with their own perks. First you have the Musketeer pack which comes with the Siege of Maastricht's hood, I hope I got the pronunciation right, it gives you extra health points, then you have the Spanish Cup Hilt Rapier which is perfect for thrusting attacks. 
Next you have the Perusian pack, which comes with a Perusian waistcoat providing better armor and protection against gunshots, and a hunting rifle which deals damage at long range. Then you have the Royal Arsenal pack, which comes with the Athos Duelist shirt, which much like the Perusian shirt, provides better armor and protection against gunshots. Then you have the Black Musketeer breeches, which prevent fall damage. Then you have a rapier with a name I dare not try to pronunciate that protects the hand wielding the sword. The fourth and final pack is the Shooter pack, which provides a regiment hood that heightens your eagle sense, and a double barreled pistol, which provides a quick reload time. A number of these packs are available as pre-order incentives if you've purchased from the Ubisoft store, while at the same time the Perusian Musketeer and Shooter packs have been bundled together as part of the Assassin's Creed Unity Revolution Edition, which is a pre-order incentive exclusive to the UK retailer game. Moving on to some individual pieces of incentive content, over at Amazon you can get the Pioneer Axe. At GameStop, you can get a hold of the Razorhead Spear, which is actually the item you automatically win if you enter the Spin to Win game available in the US. Over at Walmart, you can get a hold of the Marple Hunting Rifle, which is featured in the Perusian pack. While at Best Buy, you can get a hold of the Double Barrel Pistol featured in the Shooter pack. Now we've looked at everything, let's come to the conclusion, shall we? There's no real right or wrong answer on which version of Assassin's Creed Unity you should get. Personally, I would go with the Bastille edition. It has a well-rounded yet affordable price point when you compare how much physical and digital content you're getting. However, if you really want something big to display, I highly recommend you upgrade to the Notre Dame edition for an extra £15. If there's one version that I recommend you avoid, it's the Pocket Watch edition. As beautiful as that watch is, I just don't think the price point and the amount of content you're getting is all that competitive compared to other available editions. If you have concerns about all the little bits of incentive in-game content however, I wouldn't worry either. Given what Ubisoft has done in the past, you can pretty much guarantee that all that content will be released available to everyone in some kind of DLC packet. And if you're one of those who's willing to commit to the Assassin's Creed Unity Season Pass, you'll probably get all that stuff for free anyway. And that's the end of the video, thank you so much for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed it and I hope this helped you out in some shape or form. Did this video help you decide which version of Assassin's Creed Unity you're going to be getting? If so, please let me know in the comments. And until the next one, take care and be safe. Love y'all. Unite. Wayne out. Peace.